Alright guys, um, so this is an old video. This video, he made it like last summer. It's like May, um, 18th or 19th, something like that. And, um, well, I went back and I found some old footage of this old video where Luke went to Texas, uh, with his dad to a family reunion. And they caught some bass and uh, a couple, of, like a tilapia and some bluegill, I think. I can't remember, but... I went back, found the old footage, so we wasn't doing nothing with it. Or we was gonna delete it, and I figured, why delete it? It's an old video. That's why it's probably crappy quality. And um, so, here you go. This is from last summer. Hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, welcome to this video where I'm in Texas, and I'm going to be fishing a pond over there, and one also over there. And I'm going to be fishing these ponds for bass, bluegill, and maybe we can get some Texas tilapia. So let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I've arrived at the bigger pond where I'm going to be fishing for bigger bass. And I've already seen many, many, many blow up. So I'm going to throw a black pond magic booyah buzz bait on a 6-6 a six, 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 uh, two-piece pole. And my Abu Garcia Pro Max 7 1 to 1 gear ratio, and let's see if we can catch any good bass. Well, I lost my buzz bait, but now I know there's a good bass in here because I was reeling it right here along the dock and it came up to it and I pulled out the water because I didn't know it. I didn't see it until uh, later. So, right here by this corner, I was dragging my buzz bait like this, and all of a sudden he came up and hit it. And when I went to go set the hook, I must have had a piece of freight in the line or something, but still it was a good bass and it broke my line. But still, I'm gonna see if I can catch some good bass for you guys, see if I can get my buzz bait back. Okay guys, I was fishing that road right there on the dock, Zebco dock beam and just jigging along the dock. Almost like it's jig fishing. I caught this nice chunky bass. He's about a pound or so, but gosh, that thing put up a fight. Look how fat that thing is. He's about Nah, good 12 inches long. Good bass all around, period. So, I'm going to get the release in this next clip. The release of my first Texas bass. Catch some more for you guys out of this pond. You guys, Texan te ugh. <clears throat> I can't even talk. Texas fishing is so much fun. The bass here are so much solid, and they fight so much harder. But I caught another one right here jigging along this dock, as you can see here. Caught this little chunky bass. Look up, look at the thing. It's not that big, but it's solid. It's a solid bass. This is a pound straight over in Mississippi. A bass like this would be half a pound. This is a pound, I promise you. Just jig along this dock with a rodent, or the rodent on the uh, dock demon. See, let's give my second Texas bass the release. I kid you not, I have been out here for five freaking minutes and I've already caught three fish and this one is a solid, oh my gosh, look at this one, solid bass. He's an easy two pounds. I'm gonna get official weight for him in this next clip, but I love Texas fish and I need to come over here more often. This okay, as it turns out, this bass is not an easy two pounds, it's a pound and a half, but still it's a good bass and next clip's gonna be the release. Caught another really nice bass. Next clip is going to be a release. Beautiful bass. Okay, caught another one on a Zoom uh, Critter Craw Frog. It's a, this one's about a, just a little less than a pound. It's 15 inches long. It's a really solid bass. He's real fat, and, and this next clip's gonna be the release. Okay hey guys, I was fishing that same critter crawl and I caught this big tilapia. He's probably an easy two and a half, three pounds. How big do you think he is, Uncle Gary? I don't know. He's you know, big. It's a good tilapia and this next clip's gonna be the release. Giving this beautiful tilapia the release. Beautiful fish. Okay, this is probably one of the big, bigger ones of today. It's time to give this thing the release.
So my dad came over here with my rod, put it on my jerk bait, and I thought it wouldn't work. But he got a really good bass on it. So I'm going to get a, another video of this one when we get it unhooked. Okay, so this is a nice bass my dad caught. It's two pounds, three ounces. So this next clip is going to be the release of this nice fish. Okay guys, caught this nice two pounds, two ounce bass. Put up a nice fight, just randomly reeling in my tequila sunrise to call it a day. Well, for a morning and it took it. It's tequila sunrise right here, caught it on the Zebco docking. Culprit tequila sunrise. One of the better lore plastics we've ever fished with and the, and the next clip's gonna be the release. And that's two pounds, two ounce bass to release. Beautiful bass on a beautiful day. Okay, you guys, the fish has slowed down the other pond, so I moved this little pond, and I caught a little, caught this little one right here. Long, skinny, skinny fish. Next clip's gonna be the release. Okay, caught this nice, healthy bass. This is a short bass, but this thing is pretty chunky. Pretty chunky. So this next clip's gonna be the release. Okay hey guys, the fishing is kind of slow, but I caught this nice one right here. I want to get a different angle for you guys, this bass right here. It's a nice little two pounder, nice little bass. Next clip's gonna be the release. Not slow-mo this time, because the slow mos hadn't been coming out that good, but nice. Chunky bass. Let's give him a release. Give this nice solid bass to release. Okay, catch more for you guys. Okay guys, about three casts later I caught this nice bass. This is a nice solid bass. He's about mm, get him closer for you guys. He's about mm, two and a half. Nice bass. This is a nice bass. Give a really good fight. Next clip's gonna be the release. Give him this two and a half, the release. Let's catch more for you guys. Guys, we just caught this nice one, 